congrats on the win, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to touch on uh, Sabrina, a uh, couple of moments you had in this game. The third quarter hit this three and very few celebrating again in the fourth quarter um, uh, on an end one. It seems like you're having more fun this year. Is that a deliberate decision? And I just I wonder whether your teammates feel the same way. Um, I don't think I'm having more fun. I honestly just feel like like with the crowd um, and especially playing at home, I think just capitalizing on the energy that we have here and um, knowing that kind of just fuels the team, it fuels me, um, and understanding how big this game was for us. Um, obviously, it's a one-game win streak, but we're just wanting to continue to get better and improve. And um, I think just in the in the heat of the game, I was just um, kind of fired up. And I mean, I do it in practice as well. So <laughs> I, I would just say um, I'm just like living in the moment. I'm having so much fun playing alongside the best players um, that are on my team, and obviously super excited to be able to win. Uh, Sandy, building off of that, I'm curious if you can describe Sabrina's growth by just how she was able to help will the team in the third when the energy was down and when people weren't making shots. Yeah, look, um, I think that's the evolution of Sabrina um, with her maturity as a player because she still is quite young, um, but she's achieved so much in her young career. And, um, and that's about her growth, like how she can help this team. You know, they were tired, we were tired four games in seven days to start the season. Um, but, yeah, sometimes, like any given night, someone else can step up for us. And Sabrina was the one that was giving us that energy tonight, getting downhill, making some shots. Um, but I'm really proud, if I have to say anything, I'm proud of her defence. And she's, you know, and that's an area we thought, we, we knew that she could keep getting better in. But her commitment to excellence has been showing through and um, – you know, overall, I'm just happy with her defense. But I'm happy with our defense because we found a way to win ugly. So I was going to ask, actually, about that winning ugly. You mentioned before the game, toughness as an identity. So I was going to ask if you felt tonight was a tough win in addition to being an ugly win, and what, if any, part of that KT off the bench had to do with that. It was probably her strongest performance of the season. So Yeah, without a doubt. And um, next man mentality, next woman mentality. Um, and, and we're trying to hang our hat on defence. We know that's an area that we need to get better at. Um, and it, it's a commitment um, from 1 to 11. You know, let's buy into doing the best that you can be with the toughness that we have. Um, KT, it was her best game, and that's how she can help us. She's a dog on defence. Um, and we're still like working it out, but realise how she can help us. Guarding the handler switching a little bit more. That was effective for us tonight. But those two post players with their rotations and they're the protecting the RA behind the ball, I mean, has been great all season long. And that helps to the perimeter players to be aggressive because they know they've got someone behind them and, you know, including the R in there as well. And, um, you know, I'm happy about that because we can keep, you know, offence, we know we're going to be fine on offence. But defensively, if we can do that consistently, and that gives us a good spot to continue to grow. Hi, everybody. Um, JJ, there were a bunch of possessions throughout the night where you were able to switch out to Skylar Dickett-Smith and other Storm players in the perimeter. When you're able to sort of like fly out there and sort of like blow up possessions, how do you think that sort of like uplifts the rest of the defense behind you? Yeah, I think just being where, where we're supposed to be, um, helping my teammates out. I think last year teams kind of wanted to put me in, in the in the actions a lot uh, defensively in terms of being the big and the coverage. And um, I kind of took that personally and I've been coming into the season really focusing on that and um, really trying to execute our defensive um, schemes and stuff out there. So, yeah. Uh, for Brianna, in the second quarter, um, was there anything Seattle was doing defensively that really helped, I guess, limit you guys offensively? Or were you getting the shots you wanted but just weren't making them? Um, I think we um, – they obviously picked up their intensity and the ball was kind of getting stuck a lot. We weren't able to to kind of flow through anything or move it to, to multiple sides. Um and that was really the reason that we we struggled to score in that quarter. But um, we went into halftime like aware of it, and I feel like that's the growth of this team. Is like we we know what we need to do and um, come back out in the second and make sure that we were moving it. Uh, Sandy, you talked about being a little bit tired four games in seven days. Does that affect how you coach like the last game of this stretch? And now that you have a couple of days. Before your next one, what what does the schedule look like now? Tuesday, Wednesday, they're they're off tomorrow. They need to go have some rest. Um, yeah, it, it's grueling, but you know, get your rest while you can because there's not many days that you can have you know days off 
And uh, then we'll come back on Wednesday and we'll refocus and, and just focus on Chicago. And we'll be motivated for that because they kicked our butt in preseason. And I know it's preseason, but, um, you know, we won't let that happen again. So we'll be ready. And, and it's about our growth. Like, I. Uh, it's, we talk about this is how do we want to play at both ends of the floor. That's our identity and we've got to keep working on that daily. Hey, Sandy. Uh, Seattle's star trio of SDS, Drew Lloyd and Nezzy shot 29% tonight, along with the defensive rotation from the forwards you mentioned. What else do you think kind of work to keep, limit them tonight? Yeah, look, I think we're just executing this, the, the, the scouting um, plan that we have, we put in place. We, You know, Jill Lloyd, she's an amazing scorer. So we try to keep two people on her as much as we can. We crowded her and, you know, Skylar's still getting her legs back. We, we, we crowded her and forced him into, you know, low percentage shots. And um, same thing with Ezzy. I thought, uh, you know, Stewie knows her pretty good. So she played to her tendencies uh, quite well there. And, um, you know, they had a, had a tough shooting night, but uh, they're capable of going off too. And we've seen that in the past. So really happy just how, how intentional we were um, on the defensive end and stopping their key players. Um, how did this matchup compare to Indiana the last two games and also working in uh, the other players like uh, Kayla? Um, I think the Indiana games were, for me at least, a little bit more physical. Um, I think we had a little bit more attention on like some of the other players out there, like the guards. I mean, other than Caitlin Clark, but like Jewel Lloyd, Skylar Diggins, um, they had like two guards that could really go off on us, so we had a little bit more attention on them. But I mean, ultimately, it's it's about us and how we play and what we want to do. And we know that um, if we kind of execute the game plan and we come out the other way that we want to, like we can beat any team in this league. Hi, back here. Um, for Sabrina or Brianna, either of you, Sab, you've hit Stewie a couple of times now on those no look cuts to the rim in these first few games on the baseline. What are you two, now that you've got this extra year of chemistry, seeing from one another that you've got that little ESP going? Yeah, I mean, I think um, just like you said, I think having a year together, um, we don't nearly have to communicate as much on the court anymore because um, we can kind of just play off one, one another and read. And I think that's obviously been the growth of this team is just being able to play a season together last year. Coming into this year, we've kind of picked up where we left off. and. Um, people are getting used to my passes. I'm getting used to the way that people are playing as well. And um, obviously still had a little too many turnovers tonight, but it's been really nice to just see how we've been able to move the ball and um, do so without necessarily play calling, just because we're so familiar with one another. And she knows, and, and all our team knows, as long as we continue to move, um, me or Sluti are gonna find um, one another. And so I think that's kind of the growth of this team and this year, and we've been able to see it so far in the first four games. Hello all, congrats on the win. My question will be for Coach. Um, what was your message what was your message to the team in the halftime locker room after that nine nine second period and where do you think they adapted the most going into the second to secure the win? Yeah, look, I think um, one of these players already said, I think Stewie talked about we just were looking for a touchdown pass on the first action. And we became too individual and that's not how we need to play or how we have the most success. Um, you know, we counted the fifty fifty balls, I think it was six to two. And you know, it was it was got pretty ugly out there. But what I liked about it is, you know, in the past we might have just, you know, crumbled a little bit and gave up 30 points. But we played as hard as we can because you can control what you can do on defense. That's just by competing. Uh, the ball may not always go in the hole. Um, but once we, we focus on, like, just making sure they're playing the right way, we have our principles that we, we live and die by. It's with movement, good to great, paint to great. And, and that helped us on the third quarter. Um, you know, in the fourth quarter, you know, we weren't as great, but still we just moved the ball. That's the hardest to guard in basketball. Sabrina, over here. Last year you had four games of eight or more points in the paint. This year already you have two games of such. Just what has that been to go and be more aggressive and what does that open up for this team offensively? Yeah, I mean, it's something that um, I took into the off season and really worked on understanding that um, I have my three-point shot, but to continue to help the team to be able to just manipulate defenses and get into the paint, which allows, you know, the extra pass, defenses to collapse, um, my ability to go up, get fouled, um, and understanding that sometimes the three-point shot's not going to go in and um, sometimes defenses are going to guard it really well. And so continuing to expand my game and understanding how that's going to help my teammates and how that's going to help this team win. Thank you. Coach, earlier today I asked you about, you know, wanting to 
keep Stewie sustaining her energy throughout the rest of the season, and you made it clear that you want to make sure that it's not all on Stewie. With four starters in double figures today, um, you and the rest of the ladies up here, how does it feel, and what does it mean to have that kind of support this early in the season and going forward? Yeah, I think I think it's really important. It's a long season. We're only four games in, but we have I mean, we have wonderful <laughs> offensive players. And it's just playing in the right way and, and moving the ball and staying true to who what our we our identity is, but trying to put them in spots where they can have success as well, because they're all great players. Um, and, you know, I, mean, I, I had mentioned I probably overplayed them all last year, but I probably had to play them a little bit more today to, to try and get that win, but they have a day off tomorrow, so I don't feel so bad. I'll freshen them up a little bit. Um, but, you know, they, they're professionals. They compete so hard, and um, they've got this unique set of skills, and, and we haven't even touched... We've got so much more. We know we can continue to grow, and that's what excites me. And hopefully, we'll, you know, by the end of the year, it's going to be really, even, you know, way smoother than it was today. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.